Hi guys, this is lesson number 48 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about advanced power clip in Coral Draw using three different methods. In my screen, I have uh, three images with a circular shape and you can observe that in the first image here, this picture, it is clipped from the bottom, but from the top, it is out from the circle. And the same thing we have in the second uh, image and in the third image. This is the same output, but we achieve this result by using three different ways. So if I will click in the first image, the upper portion, if I will click and move, look at this, the basic image, it is clipped inside the circle and intersected part, it is overlapping. Control Z undo. And in the second image, if I will click, it looks, it is clipped, but it is not clipped at all. If I will click and drag, the part of the image, it is trimmed from the bottom. And this result we achieve by using shape editing command front minus back and back minus front. Undo control Z. If I will click in the third image and drag it out, it's also trimmed but here we use shape tool from our toolbox to modify image from the bottom. So let's get started. Let's see how it's done. First of all, we are going to import image go to file import that image I have here baby picture this is PNG file I removed the background in Photoshop I saved as a PNG with the same name so click and import so here we have I have color background and this is a simple rectangular shape if you want to know how to remove background from the image in Coral Draw I have one lesson here you can see the thumbnail remove image background and wrap text in this lesson you can learn how to remove background from the image using coral draw you don't need any more Photoshop here and once you will remove background using this method after that you will select the image and go to the bitmap and convert to bitmap this is exercise number 17 you can check that so here we have image now we are going to create one circular shape here we have a lip tool using ellipse tool we can create circle press control key to draw a perfect circle and it is having fill left click here to remove the fill and right click on the black to get the outline so this is the default hairline around our shape if we want we can increase and reduce outline size here but the basic path basic hairline if you want to keep it inside are in the middle or outside that what you can control here if I will double click here we have outline pen controls here and in this lower portion we have corner line caps and position you can see the first one in the first one the path it is inside and the thickness it is outside in the second example here outline is in the center and in the third one outline is outside and the thickness of the line it is inside the path so we are going to choose the first option the basic path will remain inside this is what we are going to do because once we will trim the lower portion the image will be trimmed with the basic path position if the path is inside the image will be trimmed that way so we really need that I will click it and here we can assign the width let's apply 12 and if we want we can change the color let's choose some purple shade and then click OK you can also right click while the circle is selected to change the color. Let's bring this shape here. Just position it like this your image and we can bring the image to the front. Go to the object order to front of the page. So circle is in the back of the image. Now we are going to intersect the upper portion of the image. So I will use rectangle tool, click and drag just to draw a shape, we can fill any color. Now our shape is selected, press shift key and select the image and simply click on intersect. So you can see here we have intersected part from that image. Go back, undo to keep in the same place and uh, we are going to delete this. Now here we have additional intersected part. We will click it look at this 
So here we are going to clip the basic image inside the circle. So we will select this image, object, power clip, place inside and simply click on this circle. So our image it is clipped inside. Sometime it might give you hard time while you are clipping. So you need to click exactly on the path. This is the thickness of the circle and using outline pen option we change the location of the path inside. So the basic path is inside so you need to really click exactly inside the circle or inner edge. You need to point the mouse inside then click it will be clipped. Ok so this is the first method let's try another way. You can select it press plus key and just bring it here ok. So here we have clipped image if I want I can extract that while the image is selected I can click on extract content. Now once again we have uh, image here but since it was clipped so this is a picture frame you can see there is a cross inside. I can select this picture frame any picture from your pasteboard you will bring it in the front here automatically it will be clipped inside. So if I want the default shape I can select it I can right click go to the frame type and simply click here remove frame. So once you will click on remove frame now we have a default shape it is a ellipse. So here we are going to create once again rectangular shape but this time we will create rectangular shape in the lower portion click on pick tool we can duplicate circle in the same place now circle is selected I will press plus key so in the same place we have another copy because once we will use front minus back option in the basic circle it will be lost. So now the duplicate is selected press shift key and click on the rectangular shape and here we have option front minus back. So once you will click on front minus back we got this shape you can see that this is trimmed. Now this trimmed part we will use to shape the image. So while it is selected press shift key and select the image and this time click on back minus front. Once I will click on back minus front the lower portion of the image it disappear but the output it is same. Here the basic image is clipped in this example nothing is clipped the picture itself it is shaped with a circle. So while it is selected if I will move it this way it is. So let's copy once again circle and image press plus key and once again here we have image and shape. This time we are going to use just shape tool to achieve the same result. So the first thing we are going to extract the image from the shape click extract content. Now image is out select the picture frame right click frame type and remove frame. So it will be just default circle. If you are going to do it manually with the shape tool you need to zoom it while the image is selected use shape tool click on shape tool around this image we have four points ok. So using shape tool if we will move that points it will affect the image look at this this way. So if we want we can add more point just bring your mouse over this path once your mouse pointer it is converted to small curve double click. So here we have point and this side also I want to create one point double click. Now if I will move these points this new two point will hold the path. So shape tool is selected I will click on this point and just bring it here somewhere and from this side also ok you can zoom it to make it more precisely ok. So we added two points and we move the basic two point from both side between these two points this segment if we want we can add it by using shape tool now shape tool is active simply single click in the middle just click once and we have one a black point here. Click convert to curve and we have two directional handles here with these two points. Now simply click in the middle and drag it down alright. So this way you can shape using directional handles we can adjust. So here we achieve the same result using shape tool. So click on pick tool. In the first example we clip the image and 
upper portion we intersected in the second example we use shape editing command front minus back and back minus front and in the third example we just use shape tool to modify the lower portion of the image and we achieve this beautiful result that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you